Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting. No BB and Charlie today. They are off hiding. I think Charlie's under the bed. That's his new favorite place, which is funny because BB never goes under the bed. She's not an under the bed dog. Um, I have a diamond painting unboxing for you. Makes me happy when it's actually a box. I don't know. I feel like the other should be called a diamond painting unbagging. I don't know. But I also feel like they always come in better condition in a box. Although I haven't really had any major problems. They've all pretty much figured out the packaging issues and how to how to get them here in one piece. And, uh, and watch, my next unboxing will be incredibly smashed. <laughs> it happens. You don't have to tell us about your smashed stuff. If it's bad, if it's that bad condition when it arrives, you can always get your money back. And uh, they'll try to talk you out of it. But if it's that bad, just do it. You're the consumer. You're, you're in control. Make sure you get what you paid for. So there is the diamond painting. Here are the drills really nicely packed up. Oh, I'm excited. This is my Jiminy Cricket. I love Jiminy Cricket. It makes me happy. Okay, let's put the box there. Very nice toolkit, all packaged up. Green boat, bags, pink, pink wax, single drill pen. And I want to say this is a full drill round because there's no tweezers. And it is full drill round. Very pretty colors. And it's it, they're all bagged up nice and labeled with the number and the DMC number and the weight. Okay, let's take a look at the canvas. Oh, this is that nice company that um, uses this tape. Just like, uh, must be the same manufacturer as Royal Diamond Painting, because this is how theirs came. And the packaging was nice like this. The beads, the drills rather, were all very neat. Nothing spilled, right? No, yep, yeah, no loose. No loose drills. Little Ziploc bags. So really, you, you don't even have to put this into a, a little kit. But I do. I, I need mine to be in a kit. Just because I could not sit there with all these bags loose. Um... When yours is already in a bag like that, if you've gotten one, those of you who have diamond painted before, do you put them in a kit anyway? Or do you just work from the bags? Um, just wondering. I like to tell people there's no wrong way. You do it how you like to do it. And that's part of the fun of being in the groups, the Facebook groups, and talking to other diamond painters, is discussing how you do things. It's not that I, you know, when you're new, you need ideas. And when you've been doing it a while, you know how you like it. But sometimes you find something new. Okay, it was very neatly wrapped around a foam core. And now I can see, wow, a lot of colors. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 colors. I'll put the image up for you. <music> take a look at the canvas I um, they've cut the paper 
This is a different paper company. It says crown on it. Oh, there's a hair. I, I think it was mine. Oh, Jiminy, I love you. This one's going to make me so happy to do. Nice colors. There's a lot of background that is all one color. Here he is. It's Jiminy Cricket. Give a little whistle. Let your conscience be your guide. I remember being little and I really thought a conscience was a person from watching Jiminy on uh, Pinocchio. I didn't understand. Oh boy, there we go. I got it to lay down flat. When there's a lot of pieces of paper, sometimes it's harder to put it down and get the get it back in place so that all the adhesive is covered. And I don't believe that the adhesive dries right up. It's, it really does take a long time. So don't be afraid to peel the paper up and put it back down like I'm doing to straighten out the canvas. Um, I've had some uncovered for days and it was still perfectly fine. But it does protect everything from dust hair, dirt, that stuff you do not want to get on your adhesive. You'll have drills that won't want to stick anymore. And, uh, we don't like that. I'm just peeling it all up. Oh, that's crooked. Carefully pressing it back down so that the adhesive is covered. And doesn't want to line up. There we go. I got it. Very nice. The symbols look very clear to me. Oh, I love him. I love Jiminy. There's a couple little loose drills. Very pretty colors. It's, again, like a watercolor style for a cartoon. Great toolkit, good quality. Very happy. Hey, if you like my my uh, if you like my diamond paintings, if you like my videos, hit like. If you like my diamond paintings, hit like. Um, you can subscribe and then uh, tap the little bell so you're notified when my new videos come out. Uh, really enjoying sharing all of my diamond paintings with you. I just, I'm just having so much fun. I love the colors. I love working with the drills. I love diamond painting. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just totally blanked and ran out of things to say. That's, that doesn't happen very often. So you have a great day and take care. Happy diamond painting. Bye-bye. Thank you.